cells have an instruction manual that we call the genome, where all the information to build and maintain that cell is stored. And in order to divide, they have to replicate that genome. And then they have to partition it into the two daughter cells during division. And it turns out that in human cells, that instruction manual is divided up into 46 books that we call chromosomes. And so that presents a considerable challenge to the cell as to how you can equally partition one copy of each of those books into the daughter cells so that those daughter cells have all the information that they need for correct growth and development. And we're interested in how cells do that with such a high fidelity and what happens when that goes wrong. So we think that cancer cells uh, divide with a low fidelity, meaning they make lots of mistakes when they segregate their instruction manuals. And we think that that contributes to the diversity in the genetic material that the cancer cells contain, and thereby allows the cancer cells to acquire new properties. And ultimately that's what underlies this disease, the ability to evolve new properties in different selective environments. So this allows the cancer cells to grow in places where they wouldn't normally, to be able to break out of those sites and travel to distant sites in the body where they can start new tumors. And that's what makes cancer such a deadly disease. And then in addition, many of the targeted therapies we have fail because there are resistant cells that exist within the tumor. And we think that this increased errors in chromosome segregation is giving rise to diversity that ultimately can lead to the acquisition of resistance to therapies.